Welcome to Real Time with Florida Sportsman. This week we're doing something totally different. It's that special time of the year where gator season opens in Florida. We decided to give some love to the hunting section. I'm going to hunt a gator. E. Tommy in the hunting section of the forum drew tags for North Lake Okeechobee and invited me along. The trip started out by meeting Tommy and his buddy Bryant over in Okeechobee at the Scott Driver boat ramp. We discussed the plans and launched the Triton to the Kissimmee River. Season didn't open until 5 p.m. Our plan was to get out a couple hours early, scatter around, and look for a big gator. All right, so we're out here on opening day of gator season. We got the north side of the lake drawn, North Lake Okeechobee. I'm here with Tommy. Brian, what do you got planned for us? Well, we're, how we plan on doing this is hopefully we're going to scout up a couple gators, a couple nice gators. We'd like one over 10 foot. Uh, we have the bow, we have the harpoon, we also have the pens with the treble hook on them. Uh, we're probably going to try and snag them first. <laughs> Big boy. It'll, that, it'll, that should get the job done and uh, get them snagged, get them harpooned, and then bang stick them, finish them off, and hopefully get two nice gators tonight. Well, I can assure you this Triton's never had a gator in it. <laughs> well, hopefully first. we'll be able to fix that. <laughs> All right. This area was holding a ton of gators. You know, look at the binoculars down the canal scouting. We're seeing a bunch of gators. And talking to Tommy, he says these things get a lot more active when the sun goes down. Five o'clock came and the time for the hunt started. You know, we found an area that was holding some big gators. We slowed down, started taking our time, and really we're trying to pick out the one that we wanted. That's a wide gator. He's not very, I don't know how long he is. Look, he's turning now. Take a check, check peek at him now. Not very long, right? Yeah, he's about seven foot. It didn't take long and we saw the one we wanted. Tommy was excited. He said this was 10 foot plus. This is the one we wanted to go for. You know, I was a little nervous, never cast into a gator before, but I was ready. Got him. I think I, oh, it came out, I think. Oh, it came out. <laughs> Unfortunately, that hook pulled. You know, Tommy says a lot of times you don't even get the hook down into the barb. You really gotta stay tight to these guys once you snag them. Any bit of slack, and unfortunately, they get off. That happens sometimes. Woo, son! <laughs> so we're back on the hunt, and we're seeing six, seven footers all over the place. Man, they're swimming right up to the boat. But it's not the one I came for. I want that 10-foot gator. I want to join that 10-foot club. You know, now the sun's getting low. These gators are getting skittish. They won't even let us anywhere near them. We got some bad weather approaching and I'm getting nervous. I'm thinking, you know what? I wish I had that seven footer back in front of me. I'd take the shot on him. The sun's going down and it's completely dark and we have to change our techniques. We're using spotlights now to find these gators. Their eyes actually glow red, bright. They're so easy to see from hundreds of yards away. So we get within casting range of this gator and he goes down. My hopes are dashed for a bit, but what do you know, he pops right back up in front of me and I get the cast on him. Oh, I got a lizard on! All right, so I get, when I get him in, what are we gonna do? We're gonna, I'm gonna put a harpoon in him. Uh, that way, if something happens and we lose the hook or just to add control, I'll have the ability to pull on this rope. Oh, he didn't like that. Oh, he didn't like that one bit. He's a decent gator. Hey, Brian, when you, that bank stick, grab that pole. We, we need to put the bank stick on. Let me use it. <laughs> Get me a giant lizard. We got this Pentorx 7. It's got 40 pounds of drag. I'm using 80 pound spider wire. I just don't know how much heat to put on him. Now what do we do? <laughs> Cause I know you just don't reach down there and grab him. Basically, we've got him where he's pretty wore out. I'm gonna grab the bank stick here. We're gonna try and take care of him one shot with the bank stick to the back of the head. Um, he did not like that rope in, his, in him apparently cause he's got that thing square in his <laughs> mouth. There's a pin inside of this housing. So I'm gonna get him up and you're gonna hit him with that bank stick? Yep, right behind the head. And that's just a rifle bullet, right? It is. 
Ooh, night, night, Mr. Lizard. I took care of him. Man, what a relief to get that first gator. With that storm approaching, I was getting awfully nervous that I wasn't gonna get that big lizard tonight. It's a nice, nice, healthy, about seven footer. My first, I appreciate it. Thanks so Thank much, you. man, awesome. The tough thing about hunting at night is it's difficult to tell actually how big these gators are. All you're looking at is a set of glowing eyes. You know, during the day, pretty simple, swimming across the canal, pretty easy to tell how big he is. We wanted to use all that scouting that we did earlier to our advantage. We wanted to go to an area where we knew there were big gators. We went there, and sure enough, we were seeing the gators. I got something. Ooh. I tell you what, Tommy, man, the sun went down and these things came off in the bank. They're all over this river right now. They, they're everywhere. There's there's a ton of them out here. Oh, I see why you do this. How long have you been doing this out here? This is, I think, our fourth year. Um, and we've done well every year. We filled all of our tags every year. It's oh. something that we decided we love doing. Now, anybody can apply for these tags and come out here and Any, do this. Anybody can, yep. Oh, this is great fun. Yeah. Tell you what, I'll be applying next year for sure. So we're in Okeechobee, but you're actually from Fort Myers. You had a couple hour drive over here. Yeah, I had about two hour drive over here. I live in Fort Myers now. I grew up in Jacksonville, but I decided to go to FGCU for college. So I'm over in Fort Myers now. Okay. I think Make so. Make sure it's what you want. I'm, oh. gonna, I'm gonna do it. I just, I gotta get it where I can get it into a soft spot with one this size. Oh, he not happy. Oh, he not happy at all. Oh, we just got to look at this one, and he's awfully large to harpoon. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this one with an arrow. Oh, the death roll that I read about. Oh, shit. Brian, come back here. Hold my bow. <laughs> And that is why you stick them with something else. That done it. I'll tell you what, I'm thinking this is probably getting the 10 foot club. It's not even in them. People on the forum, t I read about this. They said, you know, to, to, to file the barbs down or not to file the barbs down. Look at that. It makes no difference whatsoever. Look at the penetration. That was the only penetration that I got after sticking them, fighting them for that heart long of a time. How important is it to maintain pressure on them? Look at this. Boom. Out. Just caught him right there over the shoulder. Great spot to stick them. Perfect spot. Nice, soft area. Tommy Bryant, man, I tell you what, I had a blast. <laughs> My first time doing this gator hunt, and I guarantee I will be back. It was so much fun. I appreciate you guys showing me the techniques. Oh, it was awesome hunting with you. <laughs> no problem at all. I appreciate it, guys. Yep. Great time. What a blast that hunt was. I can guarantee you every year from now on, I'll be applying for my own gator tags. You know, E, Tommy, and Brian taught me in several hours what took them years to learn, and I appreciate them sharing that knowledge with me. I wanted to join the 10-foot club, and after taking those gators to the processor, one was 8-7, and the big one was 10 foot one, so I'm a part of the club. Because of E. Tommy's reports, I chose him to hunt with. And I need your reports and your pictures to continue so I can fish with you next on Real Time with Florida Sportsman. <laughs> I'm retrieving a $12 hook. There it is. That gator, like that. This is the. <laughs> My stomach is gonna be sore tomorrow. It's effective. That's all I'm at.